All right, this is Matt with The Busted Coach, and I am here with... Uh, Brian Allenson of X Studios. Andrew Allenson, X Studios. Tell me about uh, the game that you're releasing. Okay, so we're making a game, it's called Two Brothers. It's an action-adventure game done in the style of Legend of Mana, Link's Awakening, and Pokemon. Uh, the game, we chose a Game Boy aesthetic. The game starts off in green scale, like the original Game Boy. Uh, and after a near-death experience, the main character discovers an afterlife that's filled with beautiful 16-bit colors. So then he becomes obsessed with finding these colors and seeing if they can exist in his living world. So what has been uh, your favorite part of the development process so far? Uh, just seeing things come to life, like ideas that you had. Um, you know, just every minute of it, really. Just Yeah, I, I think for me, it's been... Well, because I'm, I'm working on the game score and also working on the store with Brian. Um, so once I spend like four or five hours working on a track and he spends about 10 hours making the area for it, when it all comes together and I actually get to play it, it, it doesn't feel real. Eventually you lose a part of yourself in it and you forget that you worked on it and you're able to enjoy it for about 20 minutes and then you start seeing all the flaws. But the first 20 minutes of getting to experience it when it comes together is awesome. So how long has the game been in development? Uh, for about two years now. Um... I kind of started as a little side project and then accidentally started making it into a full game. And then uh, last summer I got the whole team together and we just kind of started working on it. So. What sparked the idea? I think, from, from what I remember, um, when Brian was working on a senior thesis in college, he was doing a rather lengthy computer animation. And he got really, really bored and frustrated with working in 3D all day long. So to take a break from working 24 hours a day, on 3D animation, he was making sprites. Okay, so um, we started looking at these little mock-ups that he was making for, like, you know, basically Game Boy mock-ups, and we kind of just let the game, this is gonna sound really pretentious, but we let the game tell us what it was about. Looking at the screenshots, we were able to just imagine who the characters were and, and what it was going to be. So I think the art that he created really inspired what it was. So the game is the product of just his, his designs. Yeah, exactly. When you die in the game, this is what the game over screen looks like. The game over is an afterlife, almost like, like a heaven sort of area. So what happens here is a character that he encountered was dead on Earth, and now he's pushing him off, pushing her off, and she'll be back to life in the real, real world. Which uh, systems or consoles is this going to be available on? It's going to be available on Mac, PC, Linux, and then a few months later, the Wii U eShop. Sweet, so is that going to be on Steam? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, man.